the scene's still being processed. Uh, there's a lot to do, um, and I'm, I'm being a former uh, attorney general and district attorney, the last thing I'm going to do is interfere with the processing of the scene. Uh, my, my role in the aftermath of this incident uh, is to be a spokesman for a community that's resilient uh, and wants to send a very strong message that we're going to be defined uh, by our response to this tragedy and not by the tragedy itself. And, you know, I, I personally witnessed in the command center how these uh, officers in the most calm and professional manner uh, dealt with this situation. There were folks in the command center communicating to people in the building. In the command center, they're watching um, security cameras. They can see the movement of the perpetrator. They're conveying that to the uh, officers inside. And uh, they're, they're emailing diagrams of the, of the building inside. Uh, uh, people from Planned Parenthood are advising them about what the layout is, and they're conveying it to the officers inside. Knowing where the perpetrator was, uh, I think, it was incredibly valuable because they were able to get people out of some rooms that were away from the perpetrator. Uh, they were able to say, look, uh, there are people in some rooms uh, close by on the floor, but we got to make sure that no bullets go through certain walls and things like that. I mean, that kind of coordination was pretty amazing, and I'm absolutely convinced watching all that, that the way the, the police handled themselves, that lives were saved. And I, you know, I'm going to spend a lot of time uh, praising the police, praising the other first responders, uh, and I'm hoping that's what identifies our community and, and not uh, uh, the, the perpetrator who, you know, drove 65 miles to come to our community.